My question is, how does our dua work for someone if they do not try to change for the better? <laughs> See? How can you get good marks in your exams if you are not studying hard or you are not preparing well for your exam? Can you get good marks? No? <laughs> then, so dua for dua also, Allah Ta'ala says that you have to change yourself first. Right? And if you are coming towards me, one step, I will come towards you two steps. If you are walking towards me, I will come towards you, um, I will run towards you. So, first you will have to make effort, then do dua. If you are not doing it, then dua will not work. Allah Ta'ala says, you will have to use all the means and then do dua. Tawakkal does not mean that you just leave everything on to God. Once a person came to the Holy Prophet ﷺ to see the Holy Prophet ﷺ and after meeting him, he went back and he came back again very nervous and said, I left my uh, camel outside and I cannot see that camel now. On that camel he was traveling. So the Holy Prophet Sallam, did you tie that camel somewhere? He said, no, I did only left it uh, there and just did the buckle, El Allah. I trusted this thing and left it to Allah. The Holy Prophet said, no. You will have to tie the camel first and then tawakkal, do tawakkal, then leave the thing to Allah Ta'ala, then do dua. So first thing is that you use your all the means available, then do dua, then you will get the better, the good result of it, otherwise not. So the law of nature also works with law of Sharia. Right? Allah Ta'ala says that the law of nature and law of Sharia go together. You will have to use both of them. Right? Okay? Assalamu alaikum.